Voyager 2 is the farthest spacecraft from our Earth. It was launched in the 1970s and has been sending data back to us accurately until recently. However, some time ago, NASA scientists lost contact with this spacecraft. This news was quite shocking for the entire scientific community. If you are interested in science news, you might have noticed that every scientific website was covering this news extensively. Has Voyager 2 permanently lost contact with us? And will we never be able to restore contact with it? Will it go beyond human reach even before its 50th anniversary in the year 2027? In today's video, we will discuss this matter. In July, NASA scientists shared a very surprising piece of news with the public. They revealed that they had lost contact with Voyager 2. This spacecraft is very special for the space industry. Launched in 1977, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were intended to study the outer regions of the solar system. Scientists wanted to thoroughly research Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, which is why these spacecraft were launched. Voyager 2 was the first spacecraft to perform a flyby of these four planets, sharing a lot of data with scientists. The data contained information about the planet's atmospheres, ongoing massive storms, and other physical features. On July 21, 2023, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory announced that they had lost contact with Voyager 2. They were sending commands to the spacecraft when its orientation suddenly changed. If you're unaware, scientists always keep the antenna of such spacecraft pointed towards Earth to establish contact. Even a slight change in the antenna's direction can disrupt communication. Commands sent by JPL scientists caused a two-degree shift, misaligning the antenna from Earth. This prevented scientists from establishing contact. This spacecraft is located 19 billion kilometers away from our Earth, and its companion, Voyager 1, is the farthest artificial object from Earth. It might surprise you to know that Voyager 1 is currently 24 billion kilometers away from us. Both of these spacecraft continuously provide new information about interstellar space. They are powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, as these generators slowly degrade, releasing energy. This energy is used by the spacecraft to continue their journey through space. After losing contact with Voyager 2, the entire scientific community started discussing the matter. This wasn't the first time scientists had lost contact with the spacecraft. It happened in 1998 and 2010 as well, but contact was eventually restored. On July 21, 2023, a news article was published stating that scientists once again mentioned that due to the same reason, they would restore contact with Voyager 2 in one way or another. The spacecraft that was being designed, the scientists knew that in the future, alignment issues would be encountered many times. Therefore, these spacecraft were designed in such a way that they would align themselves with Earth's direction from time to time. Scientists explain that although our connection with Voyager 2 may have been lost, it will be restored very soon. This spacecraft adjusts its orientation from time to time over the course of a few months so that the data transmitted through it can reach the scientists accurately and safely. Scientists say that on October 15, 2023, Voyager 2 will once again correct its direction. At this time, scientists will try to establish contact with this spacecraft again, and they will succeed. Communicating with spacecraft from such a great distance presents several challenges. The most significant challenge is the vast distance itself. It takes about 18 hours for a message to travel from Earth to Voyager 2 and a similar amount of time to receive a reply sent by Voyager. This is why communicating with the spacecraft is so difficult. For instance, if one were to send a WhatsApp message to someone on Voyager 2, it would take around 18 hours for the message to reach there. Fast communication is necessary to control the spacecraft's direction, which might not be feasible in this case. Around 10 days after contact with Voyager 2 was lost, on July 31, 2023, NASA's scientists received good news. Using the Deep Space Network, DSN, they detect radio signals collected by Voyager 2, confirming that the spacecraft is functioning properly. 
The DSN had detected a carrier signal released by Voyager itself. Carrier signals are signals released by spacecraft that indicate their proper functioning and readiness for communication. Detecting these basic radio signals requires powerful radio telescopes. The signals received by DSN confirm that Voyager 2 is ready to restore contact. On August 4, 2023, NASA scientists publicly announced that they have re-established contact with Voyager 2. The spacecraft sent its location data to scientists, and they successfully received it. In reality, this signal was sent nearly 37 hours ago. However, due to the approximately 18-hour travel time for signals between Earth and the spacecraft, confirmation of contact restoration could only be obtained after 37 hours. Voyager 2 is still not fully ready for sending and receiving data, but scientists believe that by October 15, 2023, it will be capable of doing so. In 2027, Voyager's 50th anniversary will be celebrated. NASA scientists wish to keep both Voyager spacecraft operational until at least 2027. These spacecraft have been wandering in space for 50 years, providing important data to scientists. However, they are aging. The team working on the Voyager spacecraft indicates that by the end of this decade, both spacecraft might reach the end of their operational lives, and efforts are being made to keep them functioning until 2027. Voyager spacecraft are among the most important and popular spacecraft in space history. It's surprising to note that they were launched during a planetary alignment event when the planets of the solar system were aligned, providing an excellent opportunity for study. After studying the planets, these spacecraft gradually entered deeper space and even passed beyond Neptune's orbit. They are the farthest objects from Earth today, having been journeying through space for 50 years providing valuable data. Thank you for today's video.